If you're like me and you have darker, thicker hair that you've spent a lifetime shaving, plucking and waxing, then you may very well be interested in one of the many at-home hair removal devices around. The front runners use either IPL, intense pulse light, or laser technology. Both laser and IPL use light, which is absorbed by the melanin or pigment in our hair, and it's transported to the follicle to prevent regrowth. While similar, they're not the same, and there are pros and cons with each when it comes to choosing the right at-home device for you. So last year, I successfully used the Philips Lumia Advanced IPL device, and I'll link to my final review here. Um, and it thinned a lot of the unwanted hair on my legs, underarm, and bikini area, leaving around, I would say, 20 to 30% of the hair uh, left, but way more manageable. So when the makers of this TRIA at-home laser asked if I would like to put it to the test to bring you my independent opinion, I thought it would be perfect to see if I could use it to get rid of some of that remaining hair left behind by IPL. So having used them both now, how do they compare? So the laser beam used in the TRIA and other devices is made up of precisely controlled pulses of energy, which are absorbed by the melanin in our hair, and then into the hair follicle that lies beneath the skin. So that the hair is really heated down to the root, destroying it without damaging the surrounding tissue or skin. Most people will need a course of between six and eight sessions, after which time the hair will be definitely visibly reduced, or it certainly should be, and even permanently removed. The TRIA laser is recommended for use for um, about three months uh, for maximum results with uh, sessions two weeks apart until you get the result you're looking for. IPL hair removal also targets the hair pigment, but it uses a, a broader spectrum of light, whereas laser uses a single focus spectrum. And that means IPL energy is not as targeted and is therefore weaker. With the Philips IPL home device that I use, for instance, it's likely that you have to keep topping up treatments every now and then to maintain the results. And they're not necessarily going to be permanent. With laser, if you keep going until you get your desired result, it should be permanent, which is amazing. But as we'll find, it takes a lot of patience and that is not something I have a lot of. Now with both of them, you wanna be treating clean, freshly shaven skin to get as close to the hair follicle as possible. And with both, it's a good idea to patch test your skin first, just to check for sensitivity and work your way up through the intensity settings. Really frustratingly, if you don't fall into this category, the treatments work best on light to medium skin tones. And I'll link the skin tone guides for the devices in the description below, along with links to the products. And they also only really work on naturally brown or black hair, not on white, gray, blonde, or red hair. So that does exclude a lot of people. So let's look a little more closely at the differences between them. Now with IPL, because it's a broader spectrum, as with this Philips device, you can get a bigger head and it covers a larger area and less time. So something like a full leg took about 20 minutes. And I started to see results with IPL within just a couple of treatments and then they kept getting better, encouraging me to keep going. The TRIA laser device is more targeted. So you are getting a stronger burst of single spectrum light, however, it has a very small head, which means it's gonna take you a long time to cover those larger areas. So for underarms alone, it's estimated it takes about four to five minutes per side. For your full legs, it's 25 to 30 minutes per leg. So you're talking an hour to do both legs, another 20 minutes to do your bikini line, and 10 minutes to do your underarms. So prepare to spend an hour and a half if you're doing a lot of hair removal in one go. And that, I'm afraid, was a bit more than I could take. So for that reason, I focused on my upper lip, which I didn't really use IPL on. And I've not got very heavy growth on the upper lip. Uh, the hair is a bit lighter as well, so it was harder for the IPL to treat, but I would like to get rid of it. 
I've also been using it on my underarms, my bikini and my knees, which is where most hair was left behind by IPL. So before I give you my opinion, based on my experience of both so far, let's just see the TRIA in use and I can show you the difference in using them uh, between that and the IPL device. So one of the advantages of using this TRIA is that it is very, very simple. You uh, charge it up with a cable. When you switch it on, this little pink button at the top, it will show you when it is fully charged here. And the first thing you need to do is unlock it. And it will unlock if it recognizes a, a skin tone that it's safe for use on. So I hold it against my skin. That little doo 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 lets me know that I can use it and it's now unlocked. It just really re reacts to you holding it down on your skin and it will can, it can work continuously. You don't have to press any buttons or whatever. As soon as it comes into the contact with your skin, it's going to start operating. From there, you're really just setting your level. I don't know if you can see that. There are five different levels. Typically, I've been using it on level four, but what I would say is you have to make sure you're really, really clean shaven or it's going to ping. You know, that little, that burst of light is going to ping if it, if it detects any hair. So normally I would not have makeup on. So holding it against my lip, there we go. Easy as that. And what you want to do is just move it kind of like a half. Ooh, that tells me it's not flat. There we are. You just want to move it like a half circle each time. And there we are. I mean, at level four, that is extremely comfortable. I could probably go up to five, but I'm just a bit more careful on my lip. You hear the fan working there. If you do, if you can use it on those higher settings, four or five, it is, it says on the instructions, about two to three times more powerful than the lower settings. So that's worth doing. And it is as simple as that. So it goes fast. Um, it's just the, the size of the head that is the time consuming part. You know, worth noting as well that when you compare that with something like the Lumia, that's a larger head on the Lumia. It does come with a slightly smaller one, but you know, it, it was much more difficult to use it over the lip area. With the smaller head, you know, not impossible, but it was a bit more of a faff. This one is much more targeted. Uh, so particularly for the lip, but also on the bikini line, um, as long as you are clean shaven, so it's not going to ping, um, you can get in quite close. And, you know, people often um, ask me about this with these devices. I mean, you can go really close as long as it's not on the genitals, basically. Um, and something like this, because it's smaller, just means you can get um, much more targeted treatment. So comparing them on price, I bought my Lumia IPL device on offer on Amazon and it was £200, which was a great deal. Um, usually you can find it on Amazon for around £249 and I've linked to it in the description below. The TRIA at the moment, at the time of filming, is close in price in the UK, but it's normally £375. Just now, it's on offer for 250. But those offers do tend to keep coming up. So keep an eye out for them because it's worth the wait. In the US, just at the time of filming, it's $469, so that's full cost. And you could get a Lumia IPL device on Amazon starting from about $100 less, depending on the model you use. Again, I've linked to the products below. Overall, I would say if you're looking to cover large areas like your legs, bikini, underarms, if you're starting from scratch, you want to do them all, you need a heck of a lot of patience using a laser device to cover all those areas, especially in one go. So I would recommend something like the Philip Lumia for larger areas. On the other hand, the laser is stronger and if you used it for long enough, it will very likely be permanent. So for facial hair, underarms and bikini, that's the one to go for. And if you have the patience to spend an hour and a half on your legs each time and all, all areas, then it's an option. Using the TRIA every two weeks for 10 weeks now on my knees, upper lip, bikini and underarms, the best result I would say is on my lip and bikini lines. They are really smooth. So 
I want to see how long that lasts um, and I will report back. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to show any bikini before and afters. I'm going to keep going with the knees and underarms and do an update in the summer on final results with the Tria. The hair left behind by the Lumia is that lighter hair, which is just harder to shift. And I suspect with both devices, there will always be a level of hair left behind. So that's something to consider. These devices work best on thicker, darker hair growth. So I hope you found this comparison video helpful. As always, I love to hear your thoughts and comments. So let me know if you've tried laser or IPL and what you thought. And if you haven't already, if you hit subscribe, you'll see my next videos as soon as they're published. Until then, take care and thanks for watching. Oh,